Tesla shills. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You're going to be selling your butts. <laughs> Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. So Tesla just released their deliveries. And ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't look good. Tesla has grown their vehicle deliveries 40% year over year. Now, what these Tesla shills are going to do is they're going to say, it doesn't matter because they grew their revenue, their deliveries. I don't know what their revenue went up by. We'll see. They grew, they grew their deliveries by 40%. That's insane growth. I mean, come on. And that's true. I mean, 40% revenue growth, that's good. I wish my YouTube channel got 40% revenue growth year over year. Actually, it did because I didn't really make anything last year. But you get my point. It, it's very impressive revenue growth. But that's not the problem. The problem is... Tesla models, Tesla valuations, what people think Tesla is going to be, people operate under the assumption that Tesla is going to grow at 50% plus year over year for the next couple of years. Because if you put 50% revenue growth for the next couple of years into a model and you keep Tesla's profit margins where they're at now and their gross margins, or you make them go up a little bit, you get some insane future valuations for Tesla in the next five years. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I'm talking about trillion dollar market cap or more. But what happens is, is if you start slowing down that revenue growth rate and that vehicle delivery growth rate, and you start cutting the price, average selling price per vehicle, which is happening, your Tesla model suddenly doesn't look nearly as good. Now, I'm not a genius analyst, okay? I'm not. I'm just an accountant. I do I do people's taxes. But I know a clownish bubble when I see one, and I know when somebody is lying to me. Pretty commonly, okay? I mean, I, you know, I, sometimes people will fool me. But I know for a fact. I just know Tesla is a bubble, a massive bubble. It is still massively overvalued. Because remember, the shills said Tesla could do no wrong. Tesla went up thousands of percent. Elon Musk was a genius. Everything was perfect. And now, when Tesla runs into just a little bit of trouble, we see an absolute collapse in the stock price because that's what happens when people change their models based on new inputs. You as a Tesla show can put whatever numbers you want into your model and get whatever valuations you want. But when reality slaps you in the face, and by reality, I mean Tesla is a luxury car company and it has a upper limit. I don't know where it is. But once they hit their upper limit, their upper market saturation in the luxury auto market, their sales are going to not collapse, but their growth is going to massively slow down. And we can already see it slowing down. Okay, The narrative has gone from 50% which is, by the way, Clownalon Muskrat is the reason that number is out there. Every time Clownalon talks about Tesla, he always says, excuse me, he always says, Tesla, Tesla, uh, yeah, so, uh, so Tesla, it's, uh, yeah, we're going to grow at 50% every year. Just please don't check my math because uh, if, if you actually grew our revenues at 50%, you would see how absolutely insane that would be. But it doesn't matter. You can trust me. Uh, I'm Elon Musk. Uh, I'm touching my butthole. Uh. Elon Musk is a scammer, okay? And when I heard him say he thinks Tesla my ass is going to grow at 50%, I knew he was a freaking clown. I mean, look at this, 40% year over year, production's up 47%. Now, what people also mess up is they say Tesla, oh, they built all these factories, and these factories can operate at, you know, maximum production, and they can produce X amount of vehicles every year. That's true. If, if you produce any amount of vehicles and you operate under the assumption that they're all going to be sold, yeah, you could justify any valuation. My argument is, Tesla's a luxury auto manufacturer. The vast majority of Americans, and especially people around the globe, cannot afford a Tesla. <laughs> At some point, people are going to choose other cars, or that market's going to be tapped out. So you could have 100 trillion factories, and you could assume that each factory is going to you know, operate at capacity, and all the vehicles are going to be sold. When in reality... You might not be able to sell all the vehicles because you overestimated your true market, which is what I think Tesla might be doing. I can't wait. I really hope Tesla get, runs into a problem where they have all these gigafactories that they're paying overhead for, but they can't sell all their cars. You want to talk about margins? Oh, <laughs> they will collapse if that happens. But this, this is a disaster, okay? 
Now, the funny thing is, they missed their deliveries by a pretty significant amount. Wall Street's consensus was between 409 and 433. And they, so this is a range, and they were actually below even that. They were, oh, they only delivered 405,000 vehicles. They absolutely cratered expectations. Now, you go on Twitter, right? And here's a shill, a massive shill, Dave Lee. Tesla announced 40% year-over-year growth in deliveries. But on 10 they guided for just under 50% growth in deliveries. Hmm, Clown Elon Musk shat did that. To me, that means 45 to 49% growth. 40% growth is significantly less than just under 50. Just my two cents. Oh, you mean that Clown Elon Musk rat could have misled you, Dave Lee? No, Clown Elon Musk rat, that disgusting scammer. He would not, dude. No, he's Iron Man. You could trust him, right? So old Davey Lee here, he's probably crapping his pants right now because he probably trusted every single word that Clown Elon Musk shat said. And now he's going to get his cheeks absolutely clapped. And even if he doesn't, his fans are going to get clapped. And of course, we have Meet Kevin fanboying here. Tesla delivers up 40, deliveries up 40%. Incredible growth during a difficult year. Not many companies grow like this during recessions. That's true. If, if you're a brand new company, it's a lot easier to grow deliveries, FYI. But that's kind of my initial thoughts. I mean, we still have to wait for their profits because remember, they cut prices on their vehicles. They massively cut prices. So not only are their deliveries missing expectations, their revenue and their earnings could massively miss expectations. And if that happens, oh boy, oh boy, please, Tesla, you need to die, boy. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Cheers.